What is up guys and girls? So my favorite helmet, this is my favorite helmet. I haven't used it in a long time because I've been wearing my full face helmet for a while. And holy cow, man, look what's happened to it. So this part is leather, but this part turns out is a rubber. And you see that? It's gotten so sticky. You can't even, oh my God, it's disgusting. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll use a little bit of these towels here to demonstrate. Look at that. It like sticks to the towel. So um, I'm going to try to fix it with some of this because that's all we had in the house. It's a ladies nail polish remover. Some, some of your boys like this stuff too. That's totally cool. But we're going to use this to clean that. But before I do that, I'm going to remove um, this so I can actually give that a good clean too because it's filthy. So I'm going to use this microfiber towel. This is the Costco kind. I would never use this on a car, guys. Don't use this on any surfaces you really care about. Not paint, not soft paint. Okay, this is not a detailing microfiber towel. In fact, it's barely a microfiber towel, but for a purpose like this, it should work fine. I'm a little worried that this acetone, which is what's obviously in here, is going to discolor the leather or this rubber surface, but it's kind of a lost cause. So I'm gonna live with whatever the consequence is. Um, and wow, look at that. It is coming off. And I'm only using a little bit. Now, if you're using nail polish remover, don't leave the lid open for too long. Acetone, which is what's in there, evaporates quite fast. So um, you wanna just keep putting the lid on which is a total pain in the neck, but um, it just doesn't stay wet long enough, you know, you keep having to do that. So, um, but I see it's, I'm getting some results already. I mean, I've only been doing this, what, for about a, not even a minute. Um, getting results. I am getting some results. But man, it's like, this thing is just getting ruined which is totally fine. That's what you want, some cheap microfiber rags. You can't have the expensive ones for everything. Uh, I buy the expensive ones from a local detailing shop. And by expensive, I mean they're like six or seven bucks a pop, which is, you know, kind of pricey for towels, but I also buy this detergent from them that um, I use to wash those. These, if they get this dirty, I just throw them in the trash. They're worth nothing, really. They're probably like, I think they come in like a 50 pack for a dollar or something from Costco. <laughs> of course not, but you get the idea. They're super cheap. They're just not worth trying to save afterwards. Um, I'm actually going through quite a bit of this snail polish remover. I don't know how happy my wife's gonna be about that. Let's see what happens when we just pour it on. Wow, this stuff is just like the nastiest uh, crap that could be. It's like, it is coming off, but it's gonna take quite a bit of work to get all of it. And uh, that's what we're gonna have to do. Uh, seems like I get better results if I just focus on one little area first and then move on to the next area. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. So I'm just going to do a little bit, a little bit at a time. You don't want to make really wide strokes because all you end up doing is just spreading it all over the place. Okay, so all the sticky stuff came out actually pretty quickly, but there was a bit of a casualty. So if you go a little too hard, that's what's going to happen. You're going to strip off that layer of paint. And I'm not too worried about that. It doesn't look terrible. I don't really care as long as it's not sticky, but uh, I could always spray paint this or just get um, a Sharpie and try to fill it in or some goofy thing like that. Um, but, uh, and, and as you can see that the color faded a little bit. So I'm gonna use some of this back to black and see if I can uh, bring back a little bit of the black. Um, I don't really know if that's gonna work. So we shall find out. Yeah. 
That's pretty good. Yeah, back to black worked really well to bring back that beautiful black gloss of this helmet. And again, I'll, I'll fix this uh, on a different day <laughs> when I have the correct product to fill that in. But if you're trying to get rid of the sticky stuff on a rubber surface, uh, or what you, you, you may think it's like leather or something like that, but it's only rubber that does that, I believe. It's some cheap crap that they put on there. It's like a coating. And over time, it just decays and erodes and dies. And it gets sticky. And uh, that's what happens. So now, not sticky at all. I got my helmet back, and it's awesome. Time to go and clean this sucker. Um, I'm just going to wash that in the sink with just water and soap and call it a day. Should be good enough. Thanks for watching, guys. Click uh, that subscribe button for, uh, for what's coming next week. Uh, one way or another, there's going to be a Harley Davidson B Rod Night Ride at Night Rod Edition added to this garage this weekend. Um, there's a couple of perspective ones out there. There's one that where I've done way too much work not to buy. Uh, so I'm going to head down to LA over the weekend and pick her up. Look what this thing did to my rag. Yeah, this rag is going in the trash. All right, guys, have a great day.